Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J. Today the purpose of this video is to show you how to change the Play Store application on the GooPhone i5C. As you guys know, this is the iPhone 5C knockoff or clone, replica, whatever you want to call it. Now guys, the reason for this video is because the Play Store, when you get it from factory, for some reason it has a bug. Uh, where it doesn't let you download applications, uh, where actually it doesn't uh, search the application. For example, if you search for Doodle Jump, it won't search it. It would just give you, uh, it would go jump on to books and stuff like that. It's a big mess when you get it. Um, so I'm just going to show you here, guys, how to replace it so that way you don't have, uh, you know, any problems uh, in the future. Uh, first thing you got to do, guys, is you got to be rooted. So first thing you got to have is super user, as you can see here at the uh, bottom left. You have to be rooted in order to obtain super user permissions. Then you have to install root explorer, okay? Next thing you're going to do, guys, from the link that I'm going to provide below, you got to download the APK. Uh, this is the Android uh, Play Store. Uh, you have to download, this is the version 4.3.11. All right, I'm going to be showing the link below on this. Now, the uh, next thing you're going to do after it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and connect your phone to the computer. Then, you're going to select uh, USB connected here, and then you got to turn it on so that you can transfer stuff to, to your SD card. So, you're going to turn it on. Then, you're going to select OK. All right, guys. So, there we go. Uh, it's already uh, reading it. So, what you can do is you go to your computer file um, right there and you search for um i don't know in my opinion i like to put it on the phone's memory so you, do, you double click it so you can open it and then what you can do is you can just drag that apk that you just downloaded you can drag it onto your system all right guys so i just did that and as you can see now the uh, application is right on the bottom now you can go ahead and close this up and also turn off USB storage. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to go directly into Root Explorer. Then you're going to scroll down until you go to the very bottom and you're going to find where it says SD. All right, guys, and then you're going to scroll down, and this is my um, my old Play Store, but this is the new one right here. It is called, um, oops, let's go back. Uh, here's the one that we downloaded, okay? So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and highlight this and select um, copy. Now, in order to go back, you have to hit the little square and then select back. And then you're going to scroll down until you see where it says system. All right. Once you see system, you're going to open it up. Then you're going to go where it says app. All right. Now, before you paste this, go ahead and delete the one that came with the phone. So it's uh, on my phone. It's called Play Store. So you have to go to the very bottom because this is on alphabetical order and look for it. And here we have it, playstore.apk. Now, next thing you're going to do, you're going to select mount RO. And then you're going to highlight it. And then you're going to select delete. Okay, and then it's going to ask if you're sure you want to do this. Select yes. All right, so right now, we don't have any Play Store on here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to paste the one that you copied from the SD card. Then you're going to go all the way to the top because it starts with a C. And you're going to see it right here. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hold it down. And you're going to select permissions. You're going to only select the ones that I am selecting. Nothing else. So you're going to, you're going to have it just like this. Once you have it like that, then you're going to press OK. And then you're done, guys. All you have to do now is just reboot your phone. Turn it off. And then turn it back on. And you should have the new Play Store on there. Now you're going to turn it back on. There we go. And guys, I don't know if you guys remember, before it used to be an Android logo. I'm going to provide the code I have provided on my other four videos. 
on how to change the Android logo to the Apple logo, guys. It's very simple. You have to do it with the dialer. All right, guys, we are almost done here. Okay, the phone has booted up. All right, so now here you're gonna see the Play Store is right there. So we have successfully updated it now, guys. This Play Store uh, will work just like uh, like normal. And now you're gonna be able to uh, download applications and whatnot because that's another issue I was having. It didn't update it automatically. That's because the previous Google Play that was installed on this device was faulty, but now this one is working just like a charm, guys. Okay, uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a good one.